Hi there guys, my name is River Usley Brown and welcome to my adventure across, well, the UK in this lovely automobile. Um, this is Cecilia. Um, I'm beginning in Land's End in Cornwall and I'm probably going to just go inside because it's a bit windy out. Right, so I am in, I'm in Land's End in Cornwall down here at the moment and my plan is to slowly kind of make my way up, maybe through Wales, up this way, up to maybe Scotland. I need to be in Norfolk for a bit, but essentially I'm just gonna try and go all around as where I want to go. That's what the mission is. So yeah, so essentially the plan is to, to aim to find a piano in the most northerly, the most southwesterly, or the most westerly and the most easterly part of the UK. Um, that's as, as my brain has made it at the moment. It, it, I don't know. I managed to play a piano pretty, basically as far west as you can be, I reckon. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't checked that. I'm gonna have my journals with me. Over the last, oh, there's some lovely birds over there. So, yes, sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna be making sketches, I'm gonna be writing raps, I'm gonna be having talks with friends of mine and strangers, make some friends. Oh, whoops. I think I'll also be setting up a little like giving page, like Patreon or something. So if you feel like putting some money towards uh, petrol, then I'd be really appreciative of that. I think we should get going because I've faffed around for long enough. So um, let's give it a go, shall we? And we're going to start off the journey with one of the most beautiful roads that you can drive in the UK. Um, I'm not going to be doing this all the time, but this is a really nice road between Land's End and St Ives. For sakes. Yeah. There it is. And I, I also very kindly got let in to park for free at Land's End because I donated a piano to them, so they were like, just get on in there, Bard. Here we go. So on the first night I stayed up at Brunion, which is near St Ives and where Riverfest is going to be next month. So if you're around for that then please feel free to come along, it would be amazing to have you there on the 27th of May. And the next morning I went to Mara Zion, which is overlooking St Michael's Mount and Ian very kindly gave me an amazing demonstration on how my little moggy works. If you're interested in engines, or even if you don't know anything about engines, then this is a really good demonstration of how a very simplistic one works. And again, you just get your hammer and... Because if that shackle comes away from there, the back end of your car collapses and you've got immense damage. So keep an eye on the death. that. And if you see oil dripping out of that, yeah, then you should check it out. Yes. You undo that. And you top it up so that the oil starts to come out of that. Right. And then you put it back in again. Perfect. Okay. There's no way of and knowing any, until any particular you same oil as goes in the engine. No, no, no. It's a heavier, much heavier. A differential oil is a heavier oil. And it goes into your pump. Yeah. And then that pumps round into there. Okay. And that sometimes can get a bit clogged if you're finding it's missing a bit. Yeah. The things you check. And don't you do it, get the garage to do it. <laughs> yeah, That's I will. Sign. Thing. Right, the inside of that is a float on your carburetor. Yeah, that's fine. And you put a very thin oil in that now and again. 
and it allows the float in the carburetor. When you when you accelerate, that float goes up and down to allow the amount of fuel into your engine. Oh, I see. And if that gets tight, it's because it's not there's not there. enough oil. That's your air filter. And from your battery, you've got to come in. There it is. Goes down there, and it comes into this thing, and it's called your coil. If it's turning over but not happening. Mm -hmm. The things you check. First of all, your power's coming in. Make sure that lead, because they're prone to coming off, oh, that's goes into connected. the coil. And what a coil does, it takes 12 volts and converts it to many thousands of volts. Mm -hmm. That's called your distributor because it decides which one of these four is going to get a spark. Right. And so there you go. There's your spark plugs there. These have to be changed and they have to have a gap set on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, easy. Oh, wicked. See that? Yeah. That edge, in fact, that should be nice and shiny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. All right. So you want a spare fan belt, uh, top hose, side hose, a set of points, and a set of plugs. And you can have those as your own little kit. Because if you go into a garage and say, we don't have them. Ah, uh, I've got them. Me and Cecilia then left up to head towards Bristol via Goliath Falls, which is where the River Foy rushes down towards the sea. I'm not sure exactly how far away from the sea it is, but it's lovely woodland and made for some very serene and peaceful moments. Then made my way through Devon and Somerset to Brislington in Bristol and stopped in at some of my uni mates places to crash on a sofa and play a bit of boggle. Then I was making my way over to London to see Tanya who was coming all the way over from Switzerland for two weeks. And the first stop with her was to go to Mum and Dad's in Norfolk for a pop-up restaurant which we made a rap about. So you can watch that in the next video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks very much.